Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am sharing a fun idea that features the giant party balloon hot foil and die set from myself, Carissa Wiley, and Spellbinders. It's part of the It's My Party collection. I'm going to show you how you can use this to create a gift topper or shaped card, a little tag to kind of put on top of little gifts or gift bags. I think this is a fun way to use it. And using the coordinating dies, you could make this a shaker element. I'm not gonna do that today. Keep in mind that I am using this giant party balloon today, but you could also use any large die cuts that you may have in your stash. So I've added my hot foil plates to my glimmer platform. I've set the timer. When the timer was done, I went ahead and removed the platform from the base, took this over to my platinum six. I added my champagne foil with the pretty side facing the plates of my hot foil platform. Then I added my Concord and Ninth white cardstock, my thin shim and my spacer shim, and I ran that through my platinum six die cutting machine. And you can see I have some beautiful foiled images. Now, because this is a simple circle, you could use this for many things, but this is where the magic comes in. This coordinating die actually cuts the outside portion of this balloon and creates a slit for that little balloon string to slide up underneath the foiled edge. That keeps this plate set really functional and really versatile for you. So you could turn this into something else. It doesn't have to be a balloon, but when you slide that balloon string up under that edge, it becomes a balloon and this one is giant. I absolutely love it. Now I'm also die cutting the other elements that I hot foiled, which includes that bride to be sentiment from the It's My Party Glimmer Sentiments collection, the balloon string. And I also hot foiled a little bow, which is from the Party Balloon Bouquet hot foil and die set. I didn't actually end up using the bow on this particular project, but I had it and I will keep it for another project. <laughs> So now I wanted to add just a slight bit of color to this giant party balloon. So I'm using my die cut piece just to roughly mask off the lower portion of this balloon. And I'm blending on some ballet slipper ink from Concord and Ninth and then also some nectar, kind of blending those two colors together. And I'm concentrating the color towards the bottom of the balloon and just allowing it to fade off. Now, once I get all of my ink blending done, you can see it's a very soft ink blending. I'm gonna go ahead and open that slit that the die creates and slide in my balloon string just right under that foiled edge. It makes it look like it's all one piece. Then I'm gonna flip it over and add some liquid glue under the top of that balloon knot to keep it in place on the back side of my giant party balloon. I went ahead and die cut some elements, some floral and leaf elements from the Be Bold Blooms. I believe that's what it's called. I will have it linked below. <laughs> this is from Spellbinders. It's a die set. I used some Concord and Ninth cardstocks and I'm just arranging them towards kind of the lower left hand, what you would call maybe corner of this balloon, even though it's a circle. So I don't know, maybe it's, um, I don't know, portion. <laughs> It's not a corner. And I'm also going to add my bride-to-be sentiment right there at the top using some foam adhesive. It's a quadrant. That's the word I was looking for. It's a quadrant. The lower left quadrant. I should know that right offhand because I'm a nurse. Anyway, I'm also going to add this little sentiment strip that says a little gift. And then I poked in a couple more little kind of vine or greenery pieces that I die cut from some vellum. Now here's where we're going to make it like a little gift card or a little gift topper here. I've taken a second plain white die cut that I cut with that outer edge of this giant party balloon. I took it over to my scoreboard and then about a half inch in from the edge, I just created a score line and that creates a little tab when I fold on it. I am going to then add some liquid glue just to that tab portion that I created, so above the score line, and then I'm going to adhere that to my giant party balloon. And this creates a shaped card. This makes the perfect gift topper or gift bag tag. They are so much fun to attach to any type of gift. 
I'm going to finish this off and add a few sparkling clear confetti pieces to this to add a little more sparkle and shine. And then I'll show you what this looks like on top of a little gift here. Now I've just opened this up and slid it right over the ribbon. So you could also do this with a gift bag. You could just open it up and slide it right on top of the gift bag. And keep in mind that you can easily make this a shaker element with the included dies in the giant party balloon set. I just love the special handmade touch that this adds to any small gift or gift bag. And I hope you'll try it out. As always, I will have links to the featured products used in this project in the description at YouTube. So if you're looking for something in particular, be sure you check there. Or you can head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. I'll have that linked below. Over there, you'll find more still shots, more information, and a complete list of supplies. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here on my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my paper crafting and card making video tutorials. Thanks again so much for watching. Don't forget to say hi in the comments below. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.